Perfect. Cool. All right, part two. Part two pro. I like this. <laughs> so part two is, first was learn to play, which we actually had club fitting, which we're not showing here just now, but we're going right into the playing mode. And you can transform the driving range by saying, hey, you can play with the pro. Right, a playing lesson on Pebble Beach, hole number seven or hole number 18. What clubs would you choose? Where would you place the ball? You can play by yourself or with up to eight different students in that particular case. And Doug, just to interject for my viewers, yep. they all are very well aware of golf simulators and what software is which. Right. This is flight scope technology integrated with E6. And that's very exciting for a lot of my clients. So Perfect. Just wanted to make sure people know about that. Excellent. So what you're seeing here, however, at this point, is all iGolfing integration. What we're doing is doing a, a user interface that is um, more Silicon Valley-esque, if you will. Um, but what's behind it, the engine is exactly what Corey is saying, is E6, the number one indoor simulation software. Um, amazing with the amount of courses and, and detail and flight scope which is going to track the ball a long way and transmit all that data into the actual flight path of the swing so once we play this course for example and say we play pebble beach you'll see pebble beach come up here on the screen you'll see the yardage the slope the rating so you'll know what's going on if i click spyglass you'll see that change if you want to see all the courses in the world, you know, we have them all and we can just scroll through them. Very easy touch screen and most people are so used to this with their iPhones, their droids. It just makes a lot of sense today. But the whole value of this page is saying, man, I didn't know that course was over in Australia. So I go to the Royal Melbourne or, oh, that course is in New Zealand. And where is that located? So we give that kind of a, a fun educational play into this. All right, so let's go back over. We want to go Hawaii. You know, everybody seems to know Pebble Beach, so we'll go Pebble Beach. Uh, if I go to play Pebble Beach, I can click. And for those that are E6 users, very similar looking screen. You can play all 18, front nine, back nine, or just say, I want to play hole number seven or number 17. Of course, you can change all the settings that you want. And you can change it time of wind, time of day, weather, ground condition before you play, auto flyby if you want just by selecting it to be automatic and say okay let's play this let's play this course so off it goes and it'll launch and as you can see i golfing is the game this is powered by true golf i golfing's game is the goal is the pin because we're playing at the driving range we're not putting that's why we didn't want to say it's just like golf because it's not golf is on the golf course i love golf but i golfing is driving range golf. It's a different game. So, and we, with that, I have um, license to change the rules because it's my game. So with iGolfing, we say once you hit the, a green, you're done with that hole. And if you're within nine feet, we give you pro statistics. You birdied it. Because 80% of the time, they're gonna birdie it, okay? And if you are within 50 feet, you part it. And if you were within 75 feet, you bogeyed, the hole is done, okay? But here's the fun part of iGolfing. We reward you for hitting greens in regulation. If you hit the green and reg three times in a row, automatic birdie. Cool, huh? So you keep on hitting that green no matter how far. It's birdie, birdie. You miss, you start over. So, but if you miss and you start over and another partner you're playing with hasn't missed, we give you an opportunity to catch up. How we do that is you hit three in a row and if you get it within five feet, eagle so three point shot all right let's catch up with our buddy here and so that's like golfing we wanted to create fun at the driving range all right so that's the course you can see you can do a, a flyby and you can see how the course is running through here this is amazing because you can see the course hopefully you can see it pretty clearly here but we've got sunlight directly i mean if you turn around show them the sunlight that you're shooting into Look at that guys, sunlight directly into the screen and you can see the screen. And this isn't even our brightest screen. We've got one that's 1500 nits. Okay, um, so you guys have all seen this, you know how it, it plays, but if we go out to play the, the course, it'll keep the score and we can keep on moving forward. 
All right, so I'm going to keep on, on, on moving and I'm going to move over to Swing Fit because I think you guys all know how the simulation game is played. Okay, well that's end of the courses section.